What's up you guys? Steven here for Off The Shelf Movie Night. I've been recording a series of videos. The throat is going here, but I'm trying to get them all done at once. Put them out to you guys uh, so you can see all the pickups that I've been doing. I like to break my pickups into smaller videos, which is what I'm, you know, what I'm trying to do here. Um, so the Criterion sale just started, and I learned a lesson last year. Uh, last year I waited to toward the end of the Criterion sale. It goes from July 2nd to the end of July, and when I because I did that, things were sold out. Now, I know you can mail order things. Uh, Criterion is not good with shipping. Their, their shipping costs, I think, are astronomical. Uh, I, I know Amazon is also doing a Criterion sale. I, I don't know. I, I just am tired of giving so much money to Amazon all the time. And I love to go and actually be able to buy physical media in a brick and mortar. How weird is that? So I try to give my money to Barnes & Noble, which I did. So I went on the second, third day of the sale. Second day of the sale. It, it started July 2nd. I, I went on the third um, to get some stuff that I wanted. And even then, they were already sold out on some things. I wanted to get Dazed and Confused. Uh, I couldn't find that. I know some people are all up in arms about trying to get the Fast Times at Richmond High, but I'm not going to buy that one yet until I see the 4K come out. So, yeah, I wanted Virgin Suicides. I've been kind of circling that film for a while, and it was already gone as well. But I did find stuff on my list. I got a few things. I got four. Yeah, four things here. And, and I limited myself to four because, again... Camp Arrow is happening at the same time, so I had to buy a handful of stuff from Camp Arrow. So, let's take a look at what I bought. The first one is Ghost Dog, Way of the Samurai. This is, if you haven't seen this, this is a, a fascinating film. It stars Forrest Whitaker as uh, an assassin, a killer for hire. Um, he kills in all the traditional ways, but he's also... Uh, he also uh, follows the way of the samurai. And I don't want to get too much in into it um, and spoil the movie. If you haven't seen it, you really need to see it. It's very quirky, this movie. Uh, his best friend speaks another language. He speaks English to him, and they are able to communicate. We've seen that done in films a few times, but it's really quirky in this one. I think this movie is a great companion to Leon, the professional. I mean, these are I think they're kind of, in a lot of ways, bookends. There's the back. All right. So you can take a look, and let's go inside. We do have a book here. And is it an actual book? It, it is. And there's another little thing in here. What is this? Okay, this is a, a fold-out. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, you need to. Then you see why this is important. I don't like these. We're going to get more into that in a minute, though. So here's the book. Oh, it has that new printed smell, though. This is a fairly recent release. I believe this may have been earlier this year. It's a great sort of... Definitely not an... Like, it may be misleading to you um, that I tell you he's a, an assassin for hire. This is not an action movie. This is more of a, a slow burn kind of drama. Very, very good movie. A little bit of discard there. You know, all of the boutiques, the companies that we love, owe a debt of thank you to Criterion. And Criterion is still a, easily one of the most classy companies. I love the edge-to-edge -edge on the artwork. Not even Arrow does that on their standard releases. So, I love it. I think I'm going to do um, a video coming up that sort of uh, um, art house versus grind house. Is that something you guys would like to see? Like a comparison? Anyway, go stop. And this is the thing I love about um, Criterion when they do it well, is they do a lot of art house films, they do a lot of sort of French New Wave releases, and that sort of uh, Italian cinema, that the two things, you know. Oh, that I don't really care for so much, but then they'll also do interesting pieces of film history like this one. So this is uh, Gimme Shelter is a concert film and documentary sort of combined. 
about the Rolling Stones. Now, what is sort of historically important about this particular concert and covered in this documentary in a very, very impactful way is the Hells Angels were security for the show. And at that point in time, they were a very violent group. And um, something very terrible happens in the concert, during the concert in the audience. And it, it's caught on film. And you need to see this, this movie to see what I'm talking about. So going inside, we got another book. This is, ooh, this feels like a, a bigger, a lot of essays in here. Um, disc, a discography for the Rolling Stones. Um, and then of course there's stills from the movie. This is easily, if not the best, one of the best uh, rockumentaries ever made. There you go. Just a shot of the audience in there. This is, I've been circling this one for a few years during the Criterion sales, and it's just that something else caught my eye more, and I just hadn't picked it up yet. So I'm uh, happy to finally add this to my collection. Give me shelter. All right, if you don't know who Robert Altman is and you're uh, a fan of film, like as an art form, you really should because Robert Altman is one of those filmmakers that kind of just did what he wanted to do, even if it was kind of anti-establishment, if it was, you know, he just did what he wanted to do. Uh, you may have heard of the film Nashville. i got to check and see if there's a floater in here because it was throwing me off for a second. Nashville is one of his more popular films. It starred Karen Black, but I didn't get that one. What I got was, is Shortcuts. It's funny this is called Shortcuts. It's a super long movie, but it is an anthology of stories, interconnected stories, and it's, it has a, a very incredible cast. So the film stars Andy McDowell, Julianne Moore, Tim Robbins, a, a ton of other really great um, character actors. And it's an anthology, as I said, it's an anthology piece. Uh, all these lives sort of intersect in sometimes small ways, sometimes larger ways. And the stories in and of themselves feel uh, insignificant. Uh, so the one story about a pool getting clean, there's a fishing trip. You know, there's a, uh, a, a trip to uh, a concert. But within those stories are character arcs and character studies that are fascinating. Um, it's definitely a slow burn again. It's over three hours long. So Shortcuts makes is a hilarious name. And it's not, not a movie I think could be made now. Uh, if, if they did, it would be made into a, a streaming series. But it's a different, it has different impact watching it all in one movie. Now it's a long time to sit, I know, but you'll be riveted. You'll you'll be sucked into the to the lives of these characters, and to uh, uh, their their layers of character, the gray areas. They're not good, not bad, um, but they're kind of real in that way. And they lie and they cheat, and you know uh, things happen and th that feel realistic. It's not melodramatic. It's a very very good movie. Again, killer cast. Young, younger Julianne Moore from 1989, Andy McDowell when she was really uh, crushing it, uh, Bruce Davidson, Davison is also in this film, Robert Altman, great film. Again, been circling it for a while. And the last film that I picked up is Memories of a Murder. Now, I picked this one up, obviously, because Bong Joon-ho, um, Parasite, you know, a uh, great, great movie, and... I know nothing of this movie except that he directed it, and I don't care. I'm fine with that because I just need to see more of his work after seeing Parasite. It's such a stunning movie. I hear that this one also is amazing. This is from 2003, I think. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it. This is a cold buy for me. This is the only cold buy from the Criterion sale. Oh, did I, I don't know if I looked inside this uh, shortcuts. There is a, because uh, I, I think it threw me off because it's a floater. All right, so inside we have a little, and this is what I was going to talk about. Um, Criterion sometimes will do these foldouts with essays on them instead of a book. I hate these. I know this is just a way for them to go cheap. I hate it. 
for such a classy company, this, they, they got to do this. And there's some that I own that are much worse than this. And we've got this on two discs, of course, three hour movie. Let me just take that out so we can see. And this is sort of the slotted situation where there's slips down in there at this a little bit better. I'm dropping the discs. There we go. And you can see a, a cast shot there. Yeah, I don't know. I got sidetracked um, by uh, this movie. Didn't show you the inside. Oh. So, I think I'm starting to, to fade a little bit. I've done a lot of these videos back to back. So anyway, back to this. Showed you that. And on the inside, there is a booklet here. Like I said, cold buy. Don't know anything about this one, so tell me what you thought. I mean... The imagery gets me uh, interested right away. And another stupid fold-out. I hate these fold-outs, you guys. I mean, I think, these, oh, sorry, I bumped the mic there. I think these movies deserve better. This is trash. So, two disc set, again. Really, uh, oh, no, there's nothing notable artwork wise here either this could have been a better release i hope the movie is better than the actual release leads me to believe because uh criterion come on all right so there you go that's my pickups from the criterion sale no guarantee i won't be back before the end of uh july i might go and make another trip i just kind of need to see what else is coming out coming in there's there's a lot of things happening in july so i, I want to spread the monies out but anyway there's my pickups what did you get for the criterion sale let me know in the comments and, and let me know what you thought of my pickups until next we meet pull something cool off the shelf share it with your friends and family and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and tv i'll see you guys on the next one